What's up everybody? So in these short little videos, we're gonna be going over your speeds and powers for your CO2 laser engraver. Now you may have access to one, maybe your school has one, maybe you have one and your engravings aren't coming out quite right. I hope that you can use these short videos and my testing to get better engraves. Now without further delay, today we're gonna to be going over a painted flask. So let's head on over and we'll check it out. So again, you can see that we're gonna be doing a painted flask today. Now a CO2 laser engraver cannot do direct on metal, but it can take the paint off of a metal. So let's head on over to the laptop and I'll show you the speeds and powers. So this is the design that we're gonna be doing on the painted flask. And sorry, I don't have screen capture software, but you can see that we're gonna be using 30% power at 200 millimeters a second. Again, this is a 80 watt CO2 laser engraver. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it loaded up. I'll get the camera set up. Again, you don't have to watch this, but at the end of the video, we will show you the details and how it looks. So here it is, all done. Go in for a close up again. You can see the detail of it. If I can get the gloss off of my lights. That's how it looks. Again, this is an 80 watt CO2 laser engraver at 30% power and 200 millimeters a second. So that's gonna be it for this little short episode. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions or comments or if you would like to see anything engraved, go ahead and drop me a comment and uh, we'll do some testing to hopefully get you guys some better engraves. Also, if you like anything that you see here that we do engrave, uh, go ahead and check out my website, link down below. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you guys on the next build. All right, bye.